What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Rob and Alex here, ready to react to Wednesday, season one, episode number four. In the last episode, Wednesday was invited to join that society that her parents were in, but she denied them because she feels like they give a bad name. Well, it's not because of this, but I loved her line where she said she gives, they give uh, kidnappers and abduction people a bad name or a bad look because yeah, of how like, easy she was able she, to like get out. She, she basically called them posers. Yeah. And they are. Let's let's face it. Not to say I'm. Not, I don't want to say that like they're good or anything, but I mean, uh, they all ended up going to Pilgrim World or whatever in the normal the Normie town. What what are they called? What's the town called? I, I, don't, I, I don't really remember. Uh, and it was a good opportunity to try to find that book that she's been looking for, where the page is from, that has her like prophecy in it or whatever. Uh, and she found it. Unfortunately, it was a replica, so it really meant nothing. Uh, we saw her little friend, the little blonde girl, got closer to her little boy crush to set up a date, and he was totally, like, not even... He was totally clueless. Yeah, completely oblivious the entire time. Like, it got to the point where, like, she, it, it wasn't even that she, like, set it up. It's that she, like, forced it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Wednesday goes to the woods, and she has a vision about um, Goody Adams, which is her ancestor, uh, escaping from the burning barn that, what's his name? I forgot his name. He had burned all the the outcasts and freaks or whatever in the barn, and she was the only one to escape. I'm not sure why. If there was a trap door, why couldn't, like, more? <laughs> escape but well, oh wait like yeah that's right i forgot i just remembered when you said it um and she has the the vision but she uh she also sees the monster when she's out there in the burnt barn so another encounter i mean i don't <laughs> i don't really know what else to say about that As she's out in the woods, she sees Xavier, and like you said, it's almost too easy to like see him as the monster. I mean, it's clearly it wants you to see him as that. Like, could it be him? Yeah, which is exactly why I think it's not. Yeah. Wednesday was performing in the marching band with her cello. Which was well, kind she of she performed alongside the marching band. Yeah, and like I said, I still think the cello and the marching band is a strange mixture, in my opinion. But uh, she was playing, and the I just remembered the name. The Crackstone statue was set on fire, it was blown up by who? Of course, none other than Thing. Yes, not Wednesday. Wednesday had Wednesday's hands were. Yes. Enid, which is the little blonde girl. I have it here written in my notes. Enid, her little boy crush, was turned to stone. Because he is apparently... What, what are they called? All I know is Medusa or whatever. Yeah. Med I don't think Medusa is the t is like the species, but it's like... Yeah. That's like the iconic one. I don't... I honestly can't remember what they're called, though. Anyway. He was in the shower, and his towel somehow fell off the mirror and as he opened the shower curtain he turned himself to stone where that's going to lead no idea but Enid was obviously very upset she was waiting outside by that uh, I don't know if it was like a school bus or something she flipped out grew her nails like Meg scratched the bus or whatever and started screaming like Meg Cause, yeah because Meg Griffin had the long nails yeah I know like, that was one episode yeah but it's not like her thing but, well it is she just did it she did it in that episode and uh, at the end, the sheriff, she finds he he finds a picture after the homeless man in that barn was attacked by the monster, and he went to the uh, what is it the where ph photographers take it? Is it like red room or black room or something? Dark room. Dark room. He took the pictures there to get them developed, and sees a picture of the monster. That's where we left off, but before. When I was editing this, I was watching back, and 
I wanted to ask you this. So, remember when, what's her name, Christina Ritchie? When she was in that little diner and she met with the sheriff and the head, uh, what's her name? The, the, what, not, the, not the dean, but headmaster or something? Yeah, something like that. When they were all talking and the headmaster goes, this is, and I forgot her name. She's the only normal outcast at the school. What if she's not? And she's the monster. I mean... Because they did turn into human footprints. Yeah, that's true, but I don't know. I wouldn't want it to be her. I'm not saying I I want it to, because I like Christina Ritchie. But... She's the only one that's kind of like on the outskirts of things. It's either her or the therapist. Who we found out is into that, you know, roadkill uh, shit. I think it's more likely the therapist, but you're but you're absolutely right. It definitely, I never would have even considered Christina, uh, Christina Ricci's character. Yeah, right? Because she goes to that school. There has to be a reason why. But who knows? Maybe I'm totally wrong. I'm just saying it it was like something that I thought was I mean it's pos- it's possible. But anyway, that's the little recap and my little prediction. But I'm pretty sure you guys are tired of hearing this. Let's just jump right in. Season 1, episode number 4. I don't know why that made me jump for a second. <laughs> <laughs> That's gross. What is he doing? Like, what was that? I think it was gum. Well, I do the autopsy. You find the files of the monsters, other victims, and make copies. Frenzied attack. Subject has been almost entirely disemboweled. How does things see? I don't know. I was just thinking about that. Appreciate you coming back to the office, Doug. No problem, Sheriff. I've never seen injuries like them. I thought you should see this before I issued my report. It's not consistent with a bear attack? <laughs> That's strange. Been a busy couple of weeks, huh? At least I'm going out in style. Friday's my last day. Happy retirement, Doc. Gonna surprise Mrs. Un. He's not gonna make it to Friday. No, he's gonna die before then. They always do. That should be a lesson in life. Anyone who's excited about retirement, just keep it to yourself. <laughs> That's creepy. Full rigor. You've been dead a while. I guess you won't mind waiting another day for me to cut you open. Jeez. <laughs> what is up with that family? Five more minutes. I was just getting comfortable. <laughs> I tweaked my back fencer. The orchid produces. She didn't ask. What do the male insects get in exchange? Nada. Just like all the guys at the Raven. <laughs> okay, okay. I know you're all excited about Saturday, which is why I haven't assigned any homework. Yes. But Aren't you pumped about disco balls and spiked punch? There's even a DJ. MC Bloodsuckers. I'd rather stick needles in my eyes. I'll probably do that anyway. <laughs> or you could invite someone and have a little fun. The needles in the eyes would be fun for her, though. Those look an awful lot like the monster. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Nothing. I just saw you come out this way. What is this place? It's kind of my private art studio. Why are you really out here? She's not good at making excuses, is she? Poke needles into your eyes, perhaps? I'm all ears. Sometimes intention. I'm I'm so confused by their dynamic because he seems to really like her, but she's always so Wednesday towards him. Yeah. <laughs> like, 
And it seems like she only shows, and even though she's kind of the same way with like everybody, the only one that she seems to remotely kind of show some sort of interest in is the other guy from the Normie town. Would you possibly consider going right? to the Raven Dance with Ace? Yeah, she's like she's she's like really cold towards everyone, including uh, Xavier. That's his name, right? Him, yeah. Like, yeah, she's like cold towards everyone, including Xavier. But with uh, what's his face from the Normie town, she's just sort of indifferent. Yeah. Oh my God! Wednesday Adams is going to the Raven. My whole world is tilted. You know what you need now? A bullet to the head. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of dystopian hellscape is this? <laughs> Our first roomy shopping spree. The dance committee suggesting the music. I'm going to see Galpin. I'm not stopping. That looks much more her style. Yeah. Sorry, you gotta do better than that. But you got some nice detail, though. So stupid. Why would I share information about an ongoing murder investigation with a high school kid? Because I go to Nevermore and you don't. Don't you want some eyes and ears behind those Ivy? Yeah, she has easier access. Mm -hmm. Why don't you and the Scooby gang stick to your homework and leave the investigating to the professionals? Because you're not good. <laughs> Thanks. I'm Lucas Walker, Mayor's son. Recently split from Jericho High's cheer captain Chrissy Smothers. Wednesday Adams is your roommate? Sure is. I know this is a Be careful, buddy. I got a friend who works at Hot Couture. She overheard you on the hunt for a date to the Raven. Maybe we can help each other out. No. Don't do it. You guys have the Raven coming out this weekend, right? There's all the buzz of the weather vane today. I must be the only one not obsessed with this stupid dance. <laughs> yes. Actually, I was forced to ask someone as an act of self-preservation. Sure, that happens, I guess. It does to her. Yeah. She has a weird life, man. Got it. Is that why she likes him? Because he's so, like, dull and, like, monotone? Maybe. Wednesday, but you keep giving me these signals. It's not my fault I can't interpret your emotional Morse code. Then let me spell it out. I thought we liked each other. But then you pull something like this, and I have no idea where I stand. I mean, am I in the more than friend zone, or just a pawn in some game you're playing? Probably both. Yeah. But she did say that it was for self-preservation, right? Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. I'm sorry, how could anyone interpret anything Wednesday says as, like, feelings towards them? <laughs> like, right? Am I, am I am the crazy one here? <laughs> Speaking of monsters with sharp claws, could you get this to your roomie? Put in a good word for me? I hear she's still sans date for the Raven. Eugene. This poor kid. Yeah. I'm playing the long game. My mom say people appreciate me when I'm older. I know they're probably... How long are you thinking? Yeah. I'm claustrophobic. If you hear me screaming bloody murder, there's a good chance I'm just enjoying myself. <laughs> yeah, see. A claw or a tooth? What the hell are you doing? How do you know what the monster looks like? Or are these all just self-portraits? This creature's been haunting my dreams for the past couple weeks. I try to block it out, but I can't, so I just come in here and paint it. When I was painting this one, the claws reached out of the canvas and took a swipe at me. And that's how I got these scratches. I thought you were able to control your ability. Hmm. It's interesting, I forgot he had those powers that like he could yeah. make his art come to life. I forgot too. <laughs> that's the only reason you asked me to the Raven, isn't it? Well, you forced her to do it. So. Yeah, it's not like she was going to. <laughs> she tried to get out of it. That's the claw of the monster, and that's a dried blood sample from a potential suspect. It's not blood. It's his art studio. Run the test first. Then I'll explain everything. I'm not playing games, Adams. Neither am I, Sheriff. 
Yeah, it seems as though she's actually kind of doing your job. Yeah, she found more than you did. Instead of throwing everything at a fucking bear. Although, again, the the rag is has red paint, not blood. Right. So, I hear you might be free tomorrow night after all. Weren't you shitting on all the guys about this dance earlier? Whatever thing just did, I'm betting he didn't have permission. I didn't expect it to be in all white because, like, they're always in black or something or blue. Maybe. I don't know. It is a little weird when you think about it. Don't you remember being full of hope and excitement about the Raven? All I remember is disappointment. The boy I asked turned me down for another girl. Morticia Frump, in fact. Wednesday's mother? So did she have a thing for Gomez, then? Sounds like it, unless it was completely separate. Guessing you'd thing drop it in the tip jar. Good guess. Yeah, after <laughs> our last conversation, I wasn't sure if I'd even. Yeah, you better hide. <laughs> Your note was so genuine and sweet. It totally took me by surprise. They didn't tip you off at all. <laughs> yeah, that that should have been like the biggest clue. How'd you pay for it? Five-finger discount, of course. <laughs> well, I mean, how else, right? Thing? Don't look. How can he? What? Hey, he did. What the hell? Yeah, well, I, I, <laughs> I saw didn't. that. What the fuck was that? <laughs> I mean, it wins that you look beautiful. Eugene? Wednesday. What's going on? Uh, poor kid. Uh, what happened to staking out the cave? To be fair, it's not her fault. Yeah. It's too dangerous. Stand down. We'll go together tomorrow night, understood? Listen to her. Don't be stupid. Oh, oh my god. The fuck? So sorry, let me fix that. Enid? Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> what the fuck? You're right. I'm sorry. I do really like being here with you. Well, you're a half, right? Appreciate the last minute invitation. So no more talking about Wednesday Adams. Deal? Why would you want to keep being with this guy if he keeps talking about Wednesday. OMG. I love the look. Interesting choice of date, though. I could say the same. I was going to say that, yeah. too. Like, what are you yeah, talking exactly. about? Like, who the fuck is she <laughs> to talk right now? Lucas is trying to make his ex jealous. I'm trying to make Ajax jealous. It's a win-win. Wednesday? I come in peace? That's a shame. You better. I brought my pocket face. <laughs> I can't believe you brought him. Why are you bringing this up? As if this pants weren't tedious enough. Because you don't know what he did to you. Uh, is she supposed to know your life story? <laughs> like, I'm sorry, but. Are those the playoffs? Who's winning? The Penguins or the Ducks? You follow pro hockey? Lifelong Sharks fan. I grew up with a pack of older brothers. It was like, watch hockey or we'll go a tongue lung on you. Me Tong Long from Way of the Dragon. Only the best kung fu movie ever made. You are different. They're hitting it off well right now. Uh oh. It's a shame that we just saw something on his phone. <laughs> no sign of the target. Although, I just heard a rare club horned grasshopper. Stick to that, man. Yeah. Go, go look for more bugs, maybe closer to the school. Yeah. Like, <laughs> Xavier told me what you did last year. How you and your friends assaulted him and destroyed his mural on outreach day. Why'd you do it? I could give you a million excuses, but 
And the truth is, I'm still trying to figure that out. I did a terrible thing, but I swear I'm not a terrible person. Did you think I was going to judge you over some lousy prank? I would have taken it further. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> The fuck is she doing? She's dancing. <laughs> what the fuck is that face, though? <laughs> you better die when I show up. <laughs> <laughs> she looks scarier dancing. So, I'm guessing this is the dance that our niece is obsessed with, right? Yeah. Oh, look, maybe I'm the only one that thinks so, but I'm sorry. Wednesday looks scary as shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, she got that straight face, like, the whole time, yeah. What are you so mad for, dude? Take off your amulet and make me forget about it. I can't believe you would ask me to do that. You said no strings. You broke up with me because you thought I was manipulating you with my siren song. Pretty fucked up, dude. Yeah, that's not cool. What are these go. fucks go. doing? I don't want my dad to get any blowback or anything, you know? Dude, you're the whole reason we're even doing this. To get revenge on those freaks for nuking Crackstone's fountain. Yeah, don't tell me you've got soft like Tyler. Oh my god. Well, whoever the hell that was just saw him. Yeah. Oh, this kid's dead. <laughs> Told you to stay home, man. Oh, boy. What the fuck, man? <laughs> she loves it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. What? They carried them? Yeah. How dumb are they? Like, didn't it go bad for the people who did this to carry? Yeah, it did. And th and this and it this time it's not one girl; it's an entire school right. <laughs> filled with people. That could do shit like that to them. They couldn't even spring for real pig's blood. <laughs> That's what she's <laughs> upset about. It's only paint. That's paint? That looks more like fruit punch. Yeah. Or just water with food coloring. Yeah. Oh shit. Yeah, he's fucked. He's fucked. I can't believe I fell for your crap. You know, look, after Crackstone statue, I. I thought you were different. <laughs> I thought you liked me. <laughs> Wolf. All right, assholes. What the fuck? Wolf. Ow. Ow. Get away from her! <laughs> Should have taken off the fucking beanie. Yeah. I wanted to go with you. So then why didn't you ask me? She blew me off the other night, and you never told me why. I was too embarrassed to tell you, but I accidentally looked in the mirror and kind of stoned myself in my snakes. That's scary. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Where the fuck did this come from? <laughs> Oh no, it's coming to life. Oh boy. Get your fucking glasses and hurry up. Get out. You know, he's dead. Just let it go. You lived a life, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Can't really say anything else about it. It wasn't very long and it wasn't very good, but. Oh, 
Oh, shit. Poor guy. Oh my god. Is he alive? Alright, that was episode number four of Wednesday. Uh, so, <laughs> what I was predicting looks like... I, I don't even know how I feel about it. It's like, as soon as I said it, I thought I was onto something. But then, like, as soon as they, like, did it, I feel like, okay, we're only on episode four. Maybe they're trying to make us think that... Yeah, like, it certainly, it certainly looks like uh, they're they want us to believe that Thornhelm is the monster yeah which i i choose not to believe already even though the ending certainly makes it look that way right just like i think uh i think we talked about before how xavier was being set up as like a bit a red herring too yeah the way that they set him up really early on um i mean we're only halfway through the series right so well, my other theory... I can't imagine they would have revealed it yet. Right. My other theory, I don't know if this holds up because she's not as big of a character as Thornhill, even though Thornhill is not really that big of a character either, is the um, the counselor, the, ther- the therapist or whatever that Wednesday sees. I was actually leaning in that direction earlier. Like, it would be an interesting twist if it ended up being her because why would we ever suspect her? Exactly. But who knows? This is the direction they went. We'll see if it's actually who it is. I, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. I feel like as soon as I said it, and then they actually did it, just seeing it, like it's a little, a little too suspicious. It's like okay, it's a bit much. Um, Wednesday ended up going to the dance with Tyler instead of uh, Xavier. Xavier is such a baby. Like on it, like honestly, like it's so it's off-putting. I wouldn't say annoying. Just like come on, dude, grow up. He was throwing a tantrum the whole time. Yeah. Like, what was wrong with you? Over a girl who clearly has no feelings for you. Like, I don't know where you get these, like, weird like, signals. Like, it's different It's different with Tyler. Because Tyler's right. Like, there were times where, like, they've had moments together where you could, like, sort of get the idea, okay, maybe like she's... Like, she's kind of, like, letting her guard down. and Like, no, I wouldn't say letting her guard down, but, like... She's at least amused by him at some, like at different points. Amused? Yeah, like she like it's tough to say like if she likes someone because she's Wednesday. Yeah. But like she she has like more positive reactions to certain people. I'd say she's definitely more comfortable with Tyler. Yeah, sure, that that works. Whereas again with Xavier, it's always been it's always been cold the best he's ever gotten has been just flat out indifference yeah but that's but but that's tyler's baseline where she's always just indifferent towards him the most positive rea- uh, interaction they had was when he forced her to ask him to the dance that is not a positive experience <laughs> like that. Uh, uh enid got along with that guy uh the mayor's son and he had an ulterior motive. Do we, even, do we know his name? Uh, they said it. I forgot it because I don't really care about it. <laughs> but he had ulterior motives, not just trying to get back as his ex. And I'm pretty sure that's not even what it was at all now. They wanted to ruin the dance because of the whole statue situation, which is so dumb. But go beat up Wednesday and see what happens. All right? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, that's why they didn't, though, because they know yeah. what would happen. But, but it, wasn't, it wasn't Wednesday's fault either, though. It was Thing. Yeah. So, I mean, I guess they should try looking for Thing. <laughs> and the whole thing was all messed up. The dance. Uh, Ajax finally told Enid that he was uh, kind of frozen because of his hair. Yeah, that whole situation was really dumb. Uh, like, how long has it been? They had, like, almost a week, right? You'd think, in between, yeah. In between uh, him like uh standing her up and this dance where he could have just easily gone up to talk to her about it or she could have easily gone up to talk to him about it yeah i don't understand why it's so embarrassing like it that it's a completely normal risk and the school didn't take any precautions for your potential for this to happen so why is it 
so embarrassing or whatever. Just go tell her, like, hey, this is why uh, I stood you up by accident. I'm not trying to be an asshole. I just fucked up. It's not that big a deal. And uh, then out of nowhere, out of nowhere, they kissed uh, at the end there. And it's, after they said they were going to take things slow. <laughs> yeah, and it's like, what the fuck is that? Like, where, where did that come from? Because it's not just that, like... It's tough to say whether they actually liked each other because remember in episode, it was it, it was episode three when they set it up right. It was the last yeah. episode where they had set up the date. Yeah, like she basically had to tell him yeah. to ask her out. Yeah, because like was, she was flirting with him he and wasn't. he just wasn't picking up on any of it. Yeah. So that just like it, the whole the way that it all came together leading up to that if you look at their story specifically it just feels like rushed and out of nowhere for them a little bit yeah uh and the last thing that i don't really want to get too much into because we don't really know all of it is that headmistress or whatever she said that morticia adams stole her date to the ravens dance and we're assuming it's gomez because i mean that's who else would it be but it's totally possible it could be someone else but so there's motive for all the uh, hatred towards Wednesday and that family specifically. So yeah, there's that. Uh, there's not much else, right? Oh, Wednesday, I guess she was trying to work with the sheriff and he was just being an asshole, brushing everything off. Like, oh, I could do this myself. Like, really, you, you kind of can't. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Oh, Eugene's dead. <laughs> How do we not even bring that up? Yeah, yeah that poor, that poor kid. He had a, he had a bad day. Yeah, he did. Like, like first he tried getting Enid to go with him, which we all like. No one ever thought was gonna happen, right? Like, mm -hmm. unfortunately, no. Then he tried asking Wednesday when she didn't have a date, like, because he thought that he thought that's where she was going, but she said, but she said no because of course she said no. Yeah, and suggested that they go check out the cave together. And then, like, completely, like, not her fault at all, she was put in a position where she had to go to the dance anyways and had to bail on him. Mm -hmm. And he went he went off on his own. It's I After mean, she said not to, because something yeah. like this would probably happen. And now he's dead. It's unfortunate for his family, but he was warned. So what are you, you going to do? <laughs> uh, anyway, that's our reactions. Hopefully some of you enjoyed. Uh, if you haven't already, please hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Leave a comment down below if you're, uh, if you're interested. Just no spoilers, please. If you're interested in uh, full-length reactions, please visit our Patreon down in the description below. And with all that being said, we will see you guys in the next one.